Lautaro leads the Mapuche in Civilization VI, Rise and Fall. He was just a teenager when he led the Mapuche tribes to battle against the Spanish, and is still revered among the people of Chile as a war chief and the nation's first true general. The Mapuche's unique ability is Toki. All units trained in a city with an established governor receive additional experience in combat. They also receive a combat bonus against civs in a golden age. Their unique improvement is the Chemimul, which provides culture based on the tile's appeal. Later in the technology tree, these improvements also provide tourism. The Mapuche's unique unit is the Malone Raider. This light cavalry class unit receives combat bonuses when close to friendly territory. It also costs fewer movement points to pillage improvements and districts. Lautaro's unique ability is called Swift Hawk. If a Mapuche unit defeats an enemy unit within the borders of the enemy city, that city loses loyalty. This is a versatile civilization that will compete well culturally and in combat. Even in a peaceful game, your Malone Raiders will keep you safe at home. Consider establishing a diplomat governor in your empire to spread increased loyalty to nearby foreign cities. Train your army in the same city to ensure they are promoted quickly as you conquer the cities around you. Can you harness the spirit of resistance to soar above your oppressors? How will you lead the Mapuche in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Rise and Fall?